The affordable housing crisis shows no mercy. A Williamsburg man recently diagnosed with cancer now can't work. And that means he can't afford to stay where he's living. He has turned to Section 8 housing only to be put on a wait list. Ten in your size, Haley Milan has his story as the need for affordable housing grows. Edward Howard has terminal lung cancer, can't work, and can't afford this parking space anymore. He says his situation represents just how dire the affordable housing crisis is in Virginia. Uh, every day I wake up breathing is a good day for me. Edward Howard is battling stage four terminal lung cancer. Lost all my hair. My, yeah, everybody that knows me know I had long hair down here. And He's going through chemotherapy in Williamsburg, and at a time he should be relaxing, he's stressing about becoming homeless at the end of the month. He's lived in his camper for six years, but at the end of March, the campground switches to seasonal rates, meaning more than Howard can afford. He's always worked as a mechanic and handyman, tough work. I'm just too tired. I mean, I've got a job right now where I'm supposed to go pick up about a quarter acre of scrap metal, and I had to tell him no. And that was money in my pocket. That was paying my bills. So he depends on his disability income, which doesn't go far. I get about 838 a month. He applied for Section 8 housing, but was told it could be a year wait. Time he doesn't know if he has. Section 8 housing funnels federal funds to localities to use at their discretion. Maureen Hollowell is the Director of Advocacy Services at Independence Center in Hampton Roads. She says localities are overwhelmed with thousands of applicants. She says the first thing people should do in the face of homelessness, call the regional homeless hotline and access personalized resources beyond Section 8. You know, while everybody thinks that's the golden egg, there are other very small, but sometimes available if you're lucky. Howard says there should be readily available options for people in unforeseen circumstances. Did you ever see this happening? Nope. Howard says he tries to be positive about everything in his life. He's holding out hope that he'll find somewhere to live, either in his rig or in an apartment. In Williamsburg, I'm Haley Mylon, 10 on your side.